Una kui transformation le kalango mso inaske kala abantu bathetha inyani ena ukuba babe true kwinto bayithethayo because le igcinga noba i university igqiba hlawu ngeme nyaka eh eh mean ina ba 151 years eh singakwazanga ukuzenza inqubo zotshintsho lo minyaka yagcinga ke ngoku lixesha elifanele kileyo ngokwakube <laughs> Lipelela Park Bandabam Trope, Napai Rubisi, Kutabandam Yam, Silapes and the Flore, as none is catered in the university. I'm talking like I'm a parent. In any balance and a parent, one. Baba Tans of Kosho, the contrast is Kushua, a blower, one. He learned Kusayans at the common language, which is English, and Snabandu Bay to Baba Tasho Ben of Fundan. Abasani contract being understand me contract is English alone. So when Talabanu na ba akomote tu mugu butla na ba abola. Ba uli kala the contract tell me kumbai le English clause in Africans. Understand so that those others ba ku sign and don't na. Ma vulu tiba ne contract say kala ng English can be as bopin. Like sa sa kau question is ino utu a uti a bana zaku. Can the kamu understand ne ku a word go. Understand. Yeah. So. Yeah, but I'd want to see transform hydroids as like the way to the funding um, model. I really think that it's just unreasonable and Rose is just like not willing to negotiate in terms of fees, anything. When they say they want their money, they want it. Especially like in the beginning of the year. Yeah, it's so difficult with like registration mm -hmm. and trying to get a place in Rose and all of those things. I mean, I'm, I'm certain that obviously they have access to your student's account. And I mean, um, if you're not paying fees there's obviously something wrong something going on and so i think just that whole thing of even with holding results i mean you can see when someone is literally struggling to pay it's not that they don't want okay, to in terms of the name change i really think that it needs to happen and it needs to like happen now i'm tired of all of these name changed um task, task teams, teams and, and conversations like we've been talking like when is it actually going to happen mm. and i'd rather be clear whether it is going to happen or not going to happen instead of just this facade of talking and let's negotiate let's send um questionnaires nah you know either yes or no and then we move on mm. okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. so basically just i think that there's much room for improvement for the facilities of disabled people on campus for example all of the disabled bathrooms inside the library are dysfunctional at the moment. Um, the only one that I think is working is the one below the library. And obviously there's stairs, there's no ramp that comes up and you're only able to come around completely. And then I think, I, I know that the lift in the steep vehicle building has been fixed, but other than that, there's really nothing. Yeah. A mere like provisional acceptance for international students will not cover it. They need a definite acceptance to get their visas. And also this takes time. You can't just do it in a few days. I mean to apply for visas is a very expensive and time consuming process. So therefore I think it's necessary for us to write to November. Like other universities have that option and I don't understand why we shouldn't have that option. <laughs> My name is Chris. I'm a member of Asina Mali. It's a formation here on campus. So we, we're very happy about the fact that the university is beginning to think about transformation, organizing this summit. Unfortunately, in our opinion, uh, at the same time that you are withholding some people's results from the June exam, you can't be talking about asking people to come and participate in a talk of transformation. Uh, that's not even something we should discuss. We know that people can't afford fees. We know that people are struggling to pay for school fees. So for us, asking us to talk about these things is good, but we need to show good faith as well, you know. And this is not a sign of good faith when, when the, 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 the people are not given their results, but us to talk about transformation. Let's begin there, you know. And then another issue we have is just that um, 
who what power making this is this is more a question in fact what power does this transformation summit really have when we know that according to law council and senate are like the real decision making bodies in the university together with management so i don't know my own feeling is that look I, it's great stuff but it, it's more question it's not i've not decided i don't know what what power will this summit have to really make decisions and to implement whatever comes out of the summit but other than that uh, i think it's good i think it's great that we, we're having these conversations spaces are created the, the chats throughout the year have been great uh, they've really opened up our thinking about these issues and how they affect people on their daily lives and that's that's what it's about so so big up big up yourself yeah, I think a really important point when it comes to transformation is um, like religious acceptance. So I think that there needs to be, I mean, a place that all students use is the library. I and mean, there's not even an allocated prayer room. Um, for Muslim people, it's really difficult because we're supposed to pray five times a day. And we do have the JK, the Jamaat Khana, which is like a small mosque. Um, and it's like, it's near Steve Pico, like, but straight up that road. But I mean, if you're studying at night and you're in the library, um, during Ramadan, I found it really difficult because you'd want to pray like Makhri um, prayers, which is just after sunset, or you'd want to pray like the evening prayers or even the afternoon prayers while we were fasting, so we wouldn't be going back and forth to rest. It's just really difficult, and I think that you know small things like that can impact us a lot and help us in many special ways. I'm sure other students from different religions would feel the same, and you know that should be addressed. Um. Uh, since it's my first time moving into res, I'd like the space to be a little bit more comfortable because I think I've noticed like a few people are just like separated from others like there's lots of segregation and stuff so far that I've noticed like living here actually um, I don't know like people need to be a little bit more social and friendly with each other like I mean we are a loving university because we're small because like we have to or else like how the hell would we survive or whatever but people need to like make more effort and stuff. And yeah, that, that's, okay. that's all. That's like my main issue. Um, with regards to getting feedback from exams, and this isn't something just applied to uh, university, but high school as well, is that um, you can only really get your scripts back if you specially request for it. But I think that the university should be more in co-op uh, incorporating of getting each script back to every person and actually working through the feedback because I find like um, I submit a lot of assignments during the term I think I'm doing all right I don't do as well in the exam but I haven't actually seen my script and it's kind of a mission to go through the individual process of trying to uh, grab it so I think if maybe in the first tutorial of each uh, term after exams then if we can get scripts back and have like a proper feedback session where we explain like um, was it that I didn't follow the instructions correctly was it that I just didn't understand the work because the, there are multiple things you know that can go wrong in an exam so that's kind of my major complaint. I think I'd very much like to see a change in like the social culture the way people integrate themselves I'd like more I'd, I'd like for there to be more inclusion when there's a lot of social issues because I found that a lot of the time there's a lot of separation. Yeah. I've been down my 16th year. I retire now, the end of October. And well, whatever changes for for staff members, and I hope they get their wish. You know what? Like I say, I've been so happy. You get your holidays. The people are wonderful, and things like that. Love. What I did like, or what I did want in my life, about two years ago, was a morning's job only. That's what I love. But of course now I'm on I'm going on retirement, you understand. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. So you still have a very awesome. And the people I always say the staff here especially, I don't uh, deal a lot with the others, but the staff here are amazing and we get on like a family. And that to me is so important, I eh? very Transformation Summit is very important. Um we, we really have an opportunity collectively to rethink and reimagine our place, purpose, and value as an institution of higher learning here in Grahamstown, here in the Eastern Cape, here in South Africa, here in the African continent and beyond. It, it's a wonderful opportunity to 
have stand back and look at what we have been able to do and do well, what we have been able to do but not so well, and how we move forward from here. Uh, I do want to see Rhodes University as a place of hope, a place of aspiration, and a place of inspiration. An institution that is able to educate tomorrow's leaders.